chapter 2, lesson 10, I think last lesson in this chapter, multiply by two digit numbers. Let's look at our example. It says domestic cats can run up to 44 feet per second on land. At this rate, how many feet could a cat run in 12 seconds? So we're going to find 44 times 12. And we're going to estimate first because, like our helpful hints suggest, by estimating first, we can determine if our answer is reasonable. So we're going to keep 44. We're going to round down from 12 to 10. 44 times 1 is 44. We have one zero on a factor, so we need one zero on our product. So our, our answer is going to be somewhere around 440. So let's begin. We start in the ones column, and we're going to multiply 4 times 2, and that gets us 8. And once we've recorded something below the line, then now we need to multiply the tens by the 2. So 4 tens times 2 is 8 tens, or 80, so we have 88. Okay. We're going to put our placeholder, and then we're going to continue to multiply 44 times 10. 1 times 4 is 4, and 1 times 4 is 4. So 44 times 10, because that's what we did, 44 times 10, this is in the tens place, that equals 440. And once we've done that, we add. 8 plus 0 is 8, 8 and 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, Regroup, and 4 plus 1, 4 hundreds plus another is 5. So, we have a domestic cat can run 528 feet in 12 seconds. So, our estimate of 440 is approximate to our answer of 528. Example number two. We're going to find the product of 165 times 31. And first we're going to estimate, and then this instance we've rounded both. So they took 165 and rounded up to 200, and they took 31 and rounded down to 30. So 2 times 3 is 6. We have how many zeros on our factors? We have 3, 1, 2, 3. So we need 3 zeros on our product. Now let's get to multiplying. We're going to multiply the 1's. 165 times 1 is 165. We can work backwards as well. 1 times 5 is 5, 1 times 6 is 6, and 1 times 1 is 1. Okay. Now we're going to multiply the 10's. And of course, we have to put our placeholder here. I'm going to put this in red pen because this is something everybody always forgets. Let's begin. 3 times 5 is 15. We regroup. 3 times 6 is 18 plus 1 is 19. So again, we've got something to regroup. And 3 times 1 is 3 plus 1 more is 4. So 165 times 30, that's what we did. 165 times 30, this is a 3 in the tens place is 4,950, and now we have to add those up. 5 plus 0 is 5, 6 and 5 is 11, let's regroup, 9, 10, 11, we regroup again, and 4 plus 1 is 5. So 165 times 31 is 5,115. There we go. We're going to compare it to the estimate, and they are approximate. 
And I'll stop there. Thank you for watching. You can work on the guided practice with your teacher.